picture in my family tree I'm one of a kind, can't make a monkey out of me Do you not know? Have you not heard? Our God created the earth The world was filled, but not complete Till he created Adam and Eve Do you not know? God had a purpose, God had a plan He gave His image to a woman and a man Do you not know, have you not heard Our God created the earth The world was filled, but not complete Till He created Adam and Eve Do you not know Setting sun on a golden beach 
my feet.
something if you didn't make sure you apologize. You didn't do anything else. Exactly. Kara is my responsibility though, and I wasn't watching her closely enough. Oh, is that Kara? I thought that was a freight train, honestly. Oh, but no uh, broken bones, just a small concussion and no blood. So I think we're okay. Do I have to call the lawyer? No, I've been on worse game shows than that. Okay. <laughs> well, well, thank you for being so kind. Being kind? Jen, I would say that you're the one being kind. I am. Me? Yes, uh, well, let me take a guess here. Um, Kara's been hanging around the wrong crowd and uh, making some poor choices, but she's your niece and you love her, and so you brought her around here to surround her with some good influence and give her some responsibility. Does that sound about right? Yeah. Well, that's what I call being kind. Well, it's not working now, is it? All these people. Now, Jen, you don't know that. Yes, I do. It's been a hot mess. It's this thought. <laughs> Did you think it was going to be easy? Well, yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, whatever you do, you can't give up on her now. She does need you. Thank you. I had to need you that. Well, I'm going to get ready, so I'll see you on stage. All right, thank you. All right, I finished my chores. Now can I go out and play? Very funny, Kara. Did you finish the list of things that I gave you to do? Um, more or less. So now what? More or less. Now what? You know, why don't you just stay out here? I'm going to send the boys out, then you can keep them company. The brainiac? Oh boy, I can't wait. We're so fun. Maybe we'll break out the chessboard. Or better yet, read the dictionary together. Can't wait. Just be kind and make him feel welcome. I'll be back when the show's about to start. Seated and Joey, you please come up to the stage. Hey Siri, how can I entertain Albert Einstein? Oh well. Ooh, what do we have over here? The questions for the show. Seems a bit careless leaving them out here in the open, unprotected. I wonder what would happen if I mixed them up or changed a few. Should I or shouldn't I? That is the question. You're insulting my intelligence! Just spell it then! Fine, conceited. C-O-N-C-E-I-T-E-D. Conceited. Bitches you know how to spell that one. Spelling B, of course! Why don't I think of that one? What? what? Nothing, just act like I'm not here. Fine. Give me one that is slightly, remotely challenging, like chrysanthemum? Uh, I don't feel like spelling anymore! Fine, how about Canadian Prime Ministers? Not interested, especially the Canadian part. Fine then, U.S. States and Capitals. Uh, I'd rather read. Fine. How about you? Me? Let's test your intelligence. Oh dear. Okay. What are two things you can never eat for breakfast? I don't know. What are two things you can never eat for breakfast? Lunch and dinner. Oh, wow, you're hilarious. I know. Yeah. Okay, here's another one. What word is spelled incorrectly in every single dictionary? I give up. You, you, you can't just give up. I just did. <sighs> Fine. It's not spelled incorrectly. It is the word incorrectly. Wow. Is he always this annoying? Uh, only when he's awake. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, here's another one. No, it's my turn. But this isn't going to be like a joke or a riddle. It's more like uh, an experiment. I love science experiments. Are you serious? Um, 
here before? You've all done it? Wonderful. So you kind of know how this goes now. It's going to be a little different than the first round. I'll read a question and give you three possible answers. We'll discuss it with your team. The first team to raise their hand will be the first one to get the opportunity to answer. Now, I'm going to give off one, two, or three, which means you and the audience can also raise up one, two, or three fingers to help them out. But just remember, no shouting out the answers. All right, is everybody ready? Yeah. Wonderful, then here we go. Round two, question one. Who was the slave trader who didn't value life? Was it John Wesley, John Newton, or John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith? And it looks like King Joey. Oh. Number two, John Newton, and that is correct. Question two. James 1.27 tells us that God wants us to care for widows and, is it number one, sick people, number two, orphans, or number three, poor people? Which team was the one to answer first? Was it Stevens? All right, Team Stevens, which answer is it? You, you're saying answer two? And that is... Correct! Yeah. All right. Moving on into the next question is we're still in the time. Who is more valuable to God? Is it number one, a healthy 20 year old? Number two, a sick 90 year old? Or three, both are valuable. King Joey. Number three, and of course, you are correct. Example of valuing others. Is it number one, buying someone a meal? Number two, bullying someone. Or number three, saying hello to a sales clerk. Was it Team Joey again? All right, Team Joey. And of course you would be correct. Was it number one, Corey Tenhu? Number two, Susan B. Anthony, or number three, Lucy Van Pelt? Joey. Was it Team Joey again? Yeah. And what was the answer? Number one, and she is correct. <laughs> question, which as you know, we will need utter silence for. No helping them this round. All right. Now, besides the little one in the middle, this is how it will go. You two will not be able to discuss your answers with each other. As soon as I read the question, you can raise up either one, two, or three. You guys answer both the same answer and you're correct. Your team will get 10,000 points. But if only one of you answers correctly, it won't be correct. All right. Do we both understand? And we're ready. Good. Then, here we go. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. What is this called? Is it one, the greatest commandment, two, the perfect proverb, or three, the golden rule? Well, I, did, I was reading, so I didn't. Was it Team Joey? And they have three across the board, which means Team Joey gets 10,000 points! Well, everyone, it's wonderful to see you today. That's our show. This is Wade Martin, and this is Zoomerang. We'll see you all again tomorrow.
that's what we need to do for tomorrow night. Have a good night, guys. Candy. So you better hurry up. All right. The winner. 